Welcome back to Let's Play Tesla vs. Lovecraft. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we're here in the Enchanted Woods, the first level where I lost. No, no, you guys need to die. Thank you, Tommy Gun. Oh, come on, I can't dual wield. This guy didn't invent, like, an extra set of arms, like Dr. Octopus or something. <laughs> yes! Dodging. Uh oh. Oh, it didn't hurt. Huh. Worked it right away. What is that? I don't know what it is, but I want it. Yes! Good! Mech piece. Mech piece! Excuse me! Nope, you don't get to have that. Oops, I wanted the sword, but okay. That'll work, too. I seem to have empirical evidence that you all suck. Yoink. And yes, please. Uh oh. Uh oh. When you get back to hell, tell Dagon I said hi. That goes for the rest of you, too. I'll have to wait in the line. Mac ready! Oh my god, it's a thing of beauty. Oh my god. Oh, you are paced. Yes, please. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Let's go with this one, then. I think they just drain my health the instant they come in contact with me. Oh, hell. Yeah. Another Cthulhu. I'll take that satellite ass looking thing. Ow, 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 ow. That was a bad call. Whoa! Didn't realize I was Ironmonger. Uh, feature unlocked survival mode. You can now try your luck in an endless game mode. I feel like I should acknowledge something at the very least, and that's that, uh... In real life, uh... Howard Phillips Lovecraft was, uh... Well, I'm just gonna say it, he was super racist. Uh, apparently in his writings with, uh... What do they call it? His personal correspondence, you know, since uh, historians always go over that stuff after famous people die. In his personal correspondence, he seemed to make it very clear that he thought white people were better than any other color of people, and that white people of British descent were better than uh, any other kind of white people. And, uh, I mean, really, I think the best evidence I can give is the fact that if I were to tell you the name of H.P. Lovecraft's Black Cat, this video would get demonetized. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, uh, yes. Uh, I do not support the, uh, real-life views of H.P. Lovecraft. I'm just playing this game where he's the bad guy. Just so it's explicit. Downtown Streets. Oh, crap. Oh, wait. Aha! Welcome to Earth! What are those? Oh, 
cool that shark I think. Oh no. What are these things? Four legged Oh! Good god. I need a gun. I need a gun. I need a gun. There. No. Okay. Now we're talking. This is not a good situation to be in. Ah! XP doubler, please. Uh, 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 yes, dodging. Excuse me again. Uh, uh, Sorry to everyone who's buried in that cemetery, my bad. Yeah, actually, movement speed. Let's keep going. There was more than one of those there when I started to push the button. Look at all the damn spiders! Yes, please. And in his defense, they didn't know about radiation back then. Uh, yeah, actually. I like the little aiming sights on the big guys when they're about to do their leap attack. If I keep getting hit, it's because uh, I'm new with this. As opposed to, you know, that not being clear. Whoa! Spider ghoul. Faster teleporter. Teleport cooldown decreased by 25%. I like that. That would have been very helpful there. Arg. Spider Ghoul. Spider Ghoul, a morbid creature which is often found at desecrated graveyards. So this is like a whole AU thing, huh? Feasts upon the deceased, lives and breeds underground. Look at them all! That'll just be the one spider, huh? Oh, yeah, and in the level I'm about to go to. Interesting. What the hell? Uh, no, thank you. I'd be. <laughs> I like that. There can be no victory against the Great Ancient One, but you can prolong the inevitable for a while. What is that? Oh, no. Oh, I like that, the lightning bolt and the tentacle. <laughs> Tesla's in the house, bitches! The really funny thing with that is that, uh, from what I understand, he was remarkably mild-mannered. Wait, which one did I pick? Yeah, good, good. I got the one I wanted. Oh, I for the last one. Oh, jeez. Wow, that really is shortened down. Nuke! Ultra kill, kill, kill. I always liked those. The games that do that. How do I still have a hand? There we go. Oh, no! Oh, I like that. Like... 20 guys spawned at once. By the way, I think it is under gameplay. I would like to note that by default, maximum number of enemies is set to the minimum value. You can go all the way from 150 to 900 enemies at once. I'm just saying. I'm going to leave it on the default one for now, but, uh... Ooh... 
I really like the way the bodies like sink into the ground to get replaced with skeletons. I don't think I've seen that since Warcraft 3. Oh! Okay, that was an explosive. That's my bad. Excuse me. Pardon me. Shields up. Phaser is ready. There! I'm doing. This is about the time that yeah, numbers are going back up. If they lose here somewhere, there you are. No. Away. Look, I'm fucking Superman, man. Ability unlocked: Ether Disc. Shoots a bouncing disc of ether. Parks and Recreation? Like that TV show my brother liked? Hmm. Pretty sure I just wrecked that guy's car. Whoa! What are the energy snakes? What's up with that? You don't, yeah, movement speed to begin with. Oh no, that's right, I don't have to cool down anymore. Ha uh, ha! Uh. Goon, goon, where's a goon? Oh, I don't like that one little bit. Shit. Hell yeah. Left legs attached to the nothing. Rondel is attached to the legs. Grundle. Yes, the uh, technical term is the cyber grundle, of course. <laughs> hmm. This is a problem. I didn't even see that there. For a second, I thought I, expl I exploded. Random bird flying out. Oh no, they're little scorpion men! I was moving so fast I thought they were more deep ones. I need is the yes, but not that. I meant uh this. Oh, oh this piece off, damn it. Oh, fire! Yeah, that one. Chief and unlock, kill it with fire. Oh, there it is. I think I might have missed one. Kill it with fire, kill 50 parasites. Uh, war pigeon, recover and operate the mech. And... No, no, that's good, that's good. I didn't get one for the children of Dagon, or whatever they were called. Yes, please. Oh, there you are. An awakener? What? I thought they were called parasites. 
Weapon unlocked. Rapid Tesla gun. Tesla was the first person to fully weaponize electromagnetism. This weapon belches out plasma bolts at a very rapid rate. I don't think that's true either. I think he was, uh... The impression I have of Tesla is that he was something of an idealist, a humanitarian. That thing about wireless energy in the opener, he actually tried to do that. He was building, like, a giant antenna that was going to broadcast free electricity to every house in America. Uh, apparently it was, uh, construction was well underway when the guy who was, uh, sponsoring, you know, the, the funding it was, uh, he came to Tesla and says, You know, you've been over all this before, but I'm still confused. How are we going to track how, how, how much energy people are using so we can charge them? And Tesla looks at him in confusion and says, We're not going to charge them. This is going to be a free service. At which point, the guy pulls all funding, and the project never comes to fruition. So, uh... Yeah, I didn't think he was the sort of guy who would build a lightning gun, even if his name has been permanently associated with the concept. And incidentally, if you were wondering, yes, they did name the Tesla electric car company after the guy. Electricity was kind of his thing. I believe he invented AC current, as opposed to DC current. Grave danger. Oh, but first... I am curious of these guys. Awakener. Awaken ones are horrid creatures, a true manifestation of a nightmare. Oh, good. Awakeners, large parasitic crab-like beings, sneak on their sleeping prey in the middle of the night and violently take over their bodies to use for their sinister purposes. While the awakening is an irreversible process for the host, the parasite quite enjoys it. Christ. I don't like that the image up at the top, uh, this one I mean, is clearly a human body, and that this one is not. So this, I'm guessing, this one is going to be the awakened. No, you don't get to be here. You know what? Just... Yes, please! Oh, now we are talking. I believe these developers are also make, uh, the guys who made a, uh, a dual joystick shooter that I have actually heard of called Crimson Land. Which I believe was uh, fairly influential. This is a game of a different one. of me. Got distracted for one second and was surrounded by spider ghouls instantly. Can you imagine, like, after that last level coming out of your house in the morning to seeing that core huge purple mess everywhere? Monster corpses lying here and there. I don't know how fiery electricity works, but I'm not going to question it. After all, I'm not a scientist. Oh, whoops. Let me take that one through. Ah! She even unlocked down came the rain. <laughs> I thought I was steering that for just a second there. Oh, 
hell yeah, X-ray blade. No. Yes. Honestly, normally when it comes to the whole science versus magic thing, I'm normally on the other side of the debate, but, um, I just find science magic makes things much more interesting. But, uh, when it comes to destroying the world with an army of monsters, I'm gonna have to side with the other guys. Oh, now you've done it. Back, you freaks! You should have stayed asleep. <laughs> Ability unlocked sparks throws handfuls of deadly sparks at enemies. I do love the metal soundtrack. I was not expecting that part. Well. That'll about do it for, uh this episode. So I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Tesla vs. Lovecraft. When we, uh, get back into the action and kick some serious ass. Later. <laughs>